We are now entering the Larkus region. Come, let us continue to the south. Right, let's go. Much easier without all the trees, too. <laughs> Agreed. This is the ideal terrain for walking. Destroy. The village of Larset lies to our west. West, indeed. Oh boy, can't wait to kick my feet up. Oh, and take a hot bath. <sighs> I second the latter. Come, let us be about it. <laughs> the <Lone Cold. laughs> See that? is not far now.
Whew. Made it at last. Don't you think we should hide that thing? Kinda makes us stand out. I do not think it an issue, as it closely resembles a Semiomancer's orb, such as the one over there. A Semiomancer's orb, huh? All right then. Besides, I would like to prioritize our lodgings. A nice rest will do us all some good. it to take me on, are you? I see. Well, let's see what you can do. Give it your best shot. How exquisite. Follow my Hugh lead. Rang? Want to face off? Don't blame me if I wipe the floor with you. We have arrived. Anyone home? Oh, you looking for a match? Fine then. I'll teach you everything you need to know. So, it falls to me!
stay to rest here. That's the kind of meal that makes you glad to be alive. All right, so, where do you want to begin? First, would you mind telling us whence you hail? If you thought I said some weird stuff before, brace yourself. I'm from another world, one that's far, far away in the sky. Another world, you say? Far away in the sky? You know, like how you can cross a mountain to get to another village, or the ocean to get to another continent. If you fly high enough, you can cross the sky and reach other worlds. Like the stars? Which star do you call home? Whoa, no. One, it's a planet, not a star. Two, you can't see it from here. I've never heard something so asinine. Well, that's because people on planets like yours don't usually learn this for a couple hundred more years. Anyway, my job is to transport cargo between planets. And we now know, Duma was my cargo. My vessel, the Yidis, was attacked by another planet's battleship. And I was forced to flee here. Right now, I'm looking for a crew member, Chloe. Gotta be traipsing about here somewhere. Oddly lackadaisical way of describing being lost in an unknown land. She's got a good head on her shoulders. And she's great with languages. Roughing it a little won't bother her. And now, I'd like you to answer something for me. What's a princess doing sneaking around outside her castle? With only one bodyguard in tow? Because I too am looking for someone. Per my intelligence, at one point, he was seen entering the Medum Ruins. Therefore, I have a proposition. In return for helping in your search for Chloe, I would like you to assist us in ours. Sure, but uh, I don't know how much help I'll be. I'm not even from here. The person we seek is hardly congenial, but he is inquisitive. Your presence will be more persuasive than any argument we can make. Sounds like I got my work cut out for me. Perhaps some further information would help. His name is Midas Felgreed. He was a former Meister, one of the three most accomplished Semiomancers in all of Asarius. <sighs> it was long in the coming, but I have finally taken steps forward. I trust that you are willing to help me take a few more, Duma? Hmm? Strange. What is he doing at this time of night?
use it. it. Hey, princess. How's it going? Attempting to walk myself to sleep. My apologies. I should not be burdening you with our troubles. Hey, I'm the one who said we should join up. I would have never been able to take care of food and lodging by myself. So don't be shy. Let me help you too. <laughs> well, if you insist on it then... Atta girl. We don't need more than one negative Nelly around and albert has got us covered there. I am the reason he remains so troubled. Please try not to think ill of him. No, no, no. I know. I know. I guess he's, uh, been through a lot, right? All those worries had turned anyone's smile upside down. Do you feel no need to inquire, to fill in said details? Where we are is within the kingdom. And Albert's always wary of the Empire. The princess of said kingdom is sneaking around looking for a banished wise man. I can imagine said details. There's bound to be bumps in the road ahead. Let's at least enjoy the quiet while we can, Princess. Might I... then ask something of you? Sure, name it. Could you refrain from calling me by my royal title and use only my name? I gotta think that's gonna make Albert a little mad. Yes, well, we are undercover, and this would make things enjoyable for me. Do you agree, Ray? Yep, gotcha. Well, about time to hit the hay. <sighs> I too believe I shall return and rest, now that I have spoken my mind. All right. Good night, Leticia. Yes. Have a good night, Ray. All righty. Let's head back to the inn. Oh, and hey, do you think I could keep using this weapon? Of course. Consider it yours. There is also a merchant within the village. Shall we take a look tomorrow? Sounds good. Gotta be ready for anything around here. Make sure Duma doesn't get up to anything. It's important cargo. Don't want to break it. They have been nothing but obedient while in my care. Still, can't be too careful. Very well. <sighs> well, it seems the Sandman finally has me in his clutches. I should return. Leticia, you should probably get some rest. Do you want to face off? Don't blame me if I wipe the floor with you. Be at my best tomorrow if I do not rest soon. Not to mention the earful from Albert. Let us return to the inn. <laughs> Highness. 
Whatever are you doing here at this hour? I had trouble sleeping, so I am out for a walk. I know you shall not do as I say, but please, ensure you get your rest. Albert, your speech to me has become ever so brusque. Yet why is it that you still call me Highness in public? That is for a separate conversation. <sighs> Highness, I will no longer oppose that the moon calf travel in our company. I must insist that you keep our priorities in order. Yes, yes, I understand. However, if he intends to keep his word, then we must do the same. And I shall require your utmost effort. Yes, Your Highness. The moon hangs low, Albert. You go and rest. I shall remain awake until you sleep. It is my duty as your attendant. <sighs> Even after I am giving you permission to sleep. Pardon us. Good night. Morning. Before we head out, I just wanted to thank you again. So, thanks, Letitia, Albert. Good morning to you too, Ray. So, uh, where exactly are we headed? I kind of forgot. The mining town of Delric, which lies far to the south. Once we reach it, we can take stock of our situation. Oh, right, right. Sorry, this is the first time I've had a good night's sleep in a while. I'm still not quite with it yet. Then you'll have yourself to blame if you are attacked. Chachim! Where were you? Huh? There's something attached to his collar. A piece of paper? Glad to be of assistance.
stop by again anytime. Well, that was indeed fruitful. Let us be on our way. Is Delric Village far from here? It is. The Delvia region ahead is vast. I would wager even a seasoned traveler would consider it quite a distance. Great. You're not by chance hiding enough. Come, we make for the region of Delvia. Mm, southbound from our current position, I believe. Roger that. Oh, very excited. Energy levels low. seem to be getting used to using a sword, Ray. At first, your movements were rather unrefined, to say the least. Yeah, you think so? I guess I can't really tell if I am refined or not. You need merely continue practicing. I shall be relying. <laughs> On your skill. I'll do what I can. I shall tell you. Continue your current southern course. Okay, kind of spooky. How did you know I was going to ask you for the I really read the look of confusion written upon your face. Warning. Energy levels Not to be a pain, but are we almost to the Delvir region? Left unfulfilled. Enemies up ahead. Ready yourself. Don't. 
destroyed. Jump on him! Stay sharp! Seems we have finally crossed into Delvir territory. Ooh, that took quite some time. Sure did. Let's keep on keeping on, I guess. Delric Village lies to the southwest. First, however, we must continue farther south. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Threat neutralized. Warning. Energy levels destroyed. Insufficient output. Threat neutralized. This warning. Energy levels low. Threat neutralized. Your Highness, pray, mind your footing. Oh, hush, this is nothing. You worry far too much. It is because of your predisposition towards rest. The moment I turn away, I be vigilant. Do not treat me like a child, Albert. Gotcha! It is good. See that? Nothing shall see us deterred. should be going south from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, my bad. You would do well not to become a hindrance. Yeah, yeah, I know. Warning. Energy levels low. No threats detected. So 
Wait! This may be the wrong way. I believe this path leads to the seaport. Ah, this place is freaking huge. Of course I'm gonna get lost. <sighs> South it is then. We have company. Don't get cocky. I see that. You see that?
enemies. Dead ahead. Hang back. Warning. Energy levels low. I'm on more than you deserve. Is that Delric Village over there? about bustling. Well, Delric is the largest and most productive mining town in the kingdom. Don't expect us to go looking for you if you get lost. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what's our next move? First thing tomorrow morning, we go pay a visit to the resident Iatromancer. Iatromancer? A rare breed of specialized semiomancer. They are charged with mending people's wounds and treating their ailments. And we're paying this person a visit because they likely know where Midas is? Yes, it is likely, but... But... Never mind, it matters not. What matters, though, is getting some much-needed rest. <laughs> 